Hello, hello, yo, 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 here we go. Okay, so this is my challenge, my weekly challenge number four, heroes versus undead. So the challenge was to beat Dead of Night using only heroic units, with the exception of pack leader escort, I was allowing that, but no uh, heroic units that have to be made from non-heroic units like Phoenix's Champions or Ultimate Evolutions. And heroic structures also allowed, uh, like a laser drill. Okay, so we have here uh, the Mechbrach, the Kerrigan, but interesting thing that he was level 6 uh, Kerrigan, so no Omega Network, no Stronger Creep, uh, no Fury, and no uh, Chain Reaction and uh, Ability Efficiency for Kerrigan. Uh, and here we have Werewolf playing as the Haka, he chose Brood Brother. Okay, so it'll be interesting to see how this will go. So for now... We have Heroic Fortitude, the only upgrade Kerrigan actually has <laughs> over here. Well, this is one pretty important. But there will be no uh, chain reaction because he's level 6. Okay, now the Haka is just slapping what uh, can before the night. We have a uh, Glevix then over here. A little bit. Uh, is it late? I think, yeah, because he started double gas. Okay. Yeah, it is pretty late, okay, but okay, we have Kaboomers, which is uh, pretty okay. Well, better than Hunterlings, definitely. Okay, now we have Kerrigan coming, and we'll have a... Now three heroes defending over Tyr, the Haka, his brother. And uh, Kerrigan. Okay, Kaboomer is actually very fortunate over here. Okay, Glevig is ready. Do we have a uh, oh, Murvar? Okay, wasn't late. Okay, Glevig is going here to actually clear the structures, which is okay because I don't want to waste Glevig. Especially in these kind of circumstances of drills just for defense. The Hakas are uh, now, there are no chokers, so. Uh, and no hunterlings, so. Uh, the Hakas have a pretty easy job over here. Okay, we have a s uh, second hive because we'll need to make a lot of structures actually for. Uh, you can see that he made hives to actually tank. <coughs> Okay, now they're going here. Okay, Murwar will be out. Is there the Krons now? Okay, the Krons uh, then was kind of a little bit late. Okay, first uh, clearing all the enemies. And we'll carry. Okay, Kerrigan, it seems her job is to clear the structures. Okay, pretty good division of duties. But now, okay, Terran enemies are. Uh, that's also a pretty bad thing, and okay, raiding party not the worst, but I uh, have to care about nukes and also, well, harder to push a lot of stuff. Hitting hard, okay, hitting that thing. Would be good to. Ah, uh, worms are not. Actually, I'm not sure if worms are. I think they are not heroic, so uh, no usage of worms. Okay, good thing that Kerrigan will actually finish this before the night. Uh, almost. Okay, so this side is cleared, so they won't be coming from here, except the special infested, of course. Okay, so now we have these things over here. It might have been good to uh, upload these things to, to actually fight, because these things can fight. Not a, not a good brawlers, but they do. If they be, okay, Kerrigan died, <coughs> and uh, I suppose that this would be a 
Oh, now we have a choker, but good thing that the Haka actually. For, I thought that massive units uh, cannot be choked, but they can, but the, for some reason the Haka cannot. And when he reaches a massive uh, status. But now he died, unfortunately, brother also died, so I have to be revived. <coughs> good thing is the resources are not spent on anything, so you can see that there is a billion workers over here. So now both brothers are fighting here, while Glevy defends this side. And you can see a lot of buildings here for tanking. Now it would be good to actually morph these buildings into hives, because uh, let's see the... Yeah, there's a lot of money, so spending gas on nothing now could be good to morph this into hives to be even more tanky. And also to produce some more workers of uh, these things over here. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay, so Murvar was used to, to defend. Okay, we have nuclear launch over here, which is... Uh, okay, the Haka has detection, that's good. Where is the brother? Where is the brother? Oh, brother is here, okay. So they are not on the, the same side, which is good. Okay, yeah, these nukes are like, pretty uh, damn... Fucked up because I disallowed the uh, usage of any static defense because then it would be too easy, like uh, Swan and Karaks would be, of course, easy job. So, no static. These Omega Worms, however, are allowed, but uh, this is level 6 Kerrigan, so no Omega Worms. Okay, yeah, Cyclones are pretty annoying, they just run away from you, dealing a lot of damage, so... Okay, good thing eating this, but now not enough health. Okay, the Crown is killing all of these guys. Or they are killing themselves on the Crown. But the Medivacs are healing them, so that's the... Kinda... Hindering the progress. Okay, so we have a lot of these things over here. Okay, maybe it's actually better to leave them to form a wall. But, I mean, hives can fight if uh, uprooted. Okay, now... Yeah, Kerrigan is definitely floating too much money. These things could could have been hives, which would be like uh, 1000 HP more. Okay, we have another nuclear launch over here. Okay, that's why... Okay, and these ghosts are actually kind of useful in now, because... Then... The ability cooldowns are reduced, okay, unfortunately the Haka will die over here, and then means both, okay, will not die now. Okay, pretty good, okay, eating small stuff, okay, good, good, good. Using the roar, ah, that's a lot of things. Kerrigan is trying to do the bonus over here. Uh, well, uh, I don't think, uh, not even chain reaction, so these guys are slamming into her, no fury. So, no, with fewer it would be a lot easier. Okay, we have uh, Worms as map boss. I mean, at this point it would actually be better if it were tanks because the Hakas can eat them, but uh, we have Worms, which uh, will constantly send Bio over here. Good thing that it's not air or something. Okay, Kerrigan now making a lot of Overlords, which it would be better actually to make more... Uh, Hatcheries and turn these guys into hives because these overlords are not really that useful. I mean, few overseers, okay, against the ghosts, but uh, <coughs> I think hives would be better because these guys cannot tank ground units, they can tank vested <coughs> troopers and, uh, and chokers. Okay, now more hives are being made over here. I can't tell how many uh, <coughs> structures are remaining, unfortunately. But uh, I can see that like roughly half of the map is actually cleared, it seems. Okay, now we have the nuke here. Now this nuke will probably be... Un oh, it won't be unattended. Okay, good. Okay, this nuke silo is uh, destroyed, but there are two more over here. They should be, unless they are destroyed by the crown. Oh, I think that the crown actually destroyed. That's just <laughs> Good, but uh, <coughs> I bet they rebuilt it. 
<coughs> because they are rebuilding here, it's especially the nuke silos, so that might be like new nuke silos over here. Okay, the Haka is just... That's why Haka is slapping. Where is Glevig? Oh, Glevig is here, okay. The Haka, the Haka is level 15, the brother is level 11. It'll be interesting to see both brothers will actually come to a level... Uh, okay, yeah, there is that one nuke silo that's... Uh, and has a nuke. Kill this, kill this, kill this, kill this, kill this. Okay, there we go. Uh, okay. Now we have... Uh, hmm, Kerrigan is kinda... Not completely out of money, but... Uh, ah, these gas. Okay, this could be... Could, this could be hives. And hives have... Uh, well, the same armor, but more... Thousand more HP. Okay, now we have uh, the this Nidus and this. Yeah, stanks would kind of be better. <laughs> Eat one and you're done with it. Now you have to. This have uh, 2,000 HP and cannot be eaten. So three, three times less HP than stank, but cannot be eaten. So that's the thing. Okay. Now they cannot eat anything then, but you can revive the Haka, so that's uh, the Haka dies. Okay, now those guys are really starting to uh, come through, and... Uh, Kerrigan is doing uh, as much as uh, she can, but she cannot do much. <laughs> oh, for, for that's, uh, that's uh, rough. That's uh, rough. <coughs> That's pretty, pretty rough. Now we have uh, three Nidoses, we have a uh, lot of stuff, and they is like... Uh, and then we have nuclear launch in the middle of all this stuff, and uh, the Hakas are about to die. Okay, we, we survive over here. Kerrigan has what buildings left. Okay, now these guys will die, but Nidoses are still open, so these guys will be coming here. Okay, there are two hatcheries and kind of half health still alive. Hive is gone. Now you can see Kerrigan is uh, cocoon is over here. <coughs> okay. So that should be done this uh, night because I don't think they can survive another one. No money. Kerrigan has no money. The Haka has. Uh, okay, the Haka actually has a lot of money, but now he is busy. The werewolf is busy healing uh, the stuff around, so he's not building anything, it's probably like in his mind. We gotta go all in, we have to to, to kill the structures, no more... Uh, okay, at least pack leader dance were built here, so they survived. Except the... Wait, where is the colonel? Oh, there it is, okay. <laughs> Yeah, this is a minima bug. You can see there's nothing left here, but uh, it shows like it's building over here. But good thing is that they only have a few buildings left. I think this, yeah, this one is left. Okay, oh, night is coming, but uh, that's it. Mission success. No bonus, but uh, not expected. So let's see. Okay, let's see the overlay. Okay, there it is, and as I thought, uh, that would be hard carried by the Haka, because there are two the Hakas, and also pack leaders, while Kerrigan is just one one lady at level 6. So, uh, we have, they died 9 times, but uh, it is kind of almost even split out the kills between the brothers, but Kerrigan actually did pretty good at cleaning uh, buildings, the Hakas still... Werewolf still has uh, has uh, one one uh, more, but okay. Kerrigan was helpful, but what I would do differently is to, instead of making so many overlords, actually to make, uh, to turn those uh, hatcheries into hives, to have more HP, and actually just siege up overseers at uh, good locations to see the... the um, Ghosts, although Kerrigan cannot, if Kerrigan is out there and no Omega Network, so he she cannot deal anything uh, 
with those girls at the hackers which are detectors anyways have to come back to deal with them so yeah that's the thing maybe those overseers wouldn't be so so uh, important but i think yeah definitely would be better that uh, to uh, uh, use your gas to actually make hives and minerals of course so to have more tankiness but it is this a pretty decent game can you carry actually died only three times that it was more okay yeah but getting cannot be revived instantly okay so 514 kills okay decent uh broodlings have three kills but that's broodlings uh that were not any produced non-heroic units uh, broodlings were just from dead hatcheries so uh, uh that's the the thing that's uh okay so that's it guys uh hope you enjoyed it uh like and subscribe if you liked it uh watch my other videos too and join my uh channels look for my short videos i uh, publish new uh challenges via short videos so you can check it out and if you have the guts if you have the balls then you can do uh the challenges so um, and post it uh, into my challenge replay section on my discord so i'll be glad to have more people doing my challenges uh thanks uh again guys and see you around